So as stated before in my live stream, um, I was going to talk about the announcement today from Marvel called The Savage Avengers. Now, The Savage Avengers isn't coming out in May uh, until May, but they revealed some news about it uh, regarding this comic. Um, and I gotta say, this seems really fan fiction-y, but at the same time, I'm like, sure, okay, I'm in. Uh, so the Savage Avengers. This is a team that is being created, that the creative team behind it is uh, J uh, Jerry Duggan and Mike Diodato. Uh, J Gary Duggan, uh, Gary, uh, Gary Duggan has been doing, Jerry Duggan has been doing some great work so far um, with Infinity Wars. He's done several other things over at Marvel. Um, and now he's currently doing Conan, which is funny because Conan the Barbarian is actually a part of this team, alongside Venom, Brother Voodoo, Elektra, Punisher, and Wolverine. Like I said, very fan fiction. This is like a kid's team, really. Like, as aside from uh, Brother Voodoo, like, yeah, uh, if you asked a five-year-old who would you put on an Avengers team, it'd be like v Venom, and and Wolverine, and Punisher, and Elektra, and, and Conan. Conan would be great. Avenge would be a great Avenger. All right, um, but yeah, what do I think of this? It's pretty cool. I mean. It's obviously not a full-fledged Avenger. They're not going to call themselves the Avengers, obviously, but it looks fun. And to see Conan in the Marvel Universe is pretty cool. Like I said, Marvel, since the, the moment they came out with Conan the Barbarian number one, man, they've just been like, look at us, Conan, we have Conan back. Look at us. So I find it funny that they've been just running with that torch since the mo they hit the ground running with all the stuff they wanted to do with Conan the Barbarian. Like, they didn't even wait like a few, they haven't waited a full year to put Conan the Barbarian in the Marvel Universe. Um, in fact, he's teaming up with the, um, the a group of Avengers in uh, Avengers No Road Home. Yeah. Um, what I also find funny is that Jerry Duggan is writing Savage Sword of Conan, the other Conan book, which is a series that, uh, that foretold of a great evil that Conan would face, and in this book, it's described that a great evil would come to battle, um, you know, uh, Conan would have to battle a great evil. So it does make the mind wonder, um, is that great, is what happens in Savage Sword going to coincide with, Sa with Savage Avengers? Well, I've got a feeling since both of them have the name Savage in there, and the fact that they're, you know, it's the same writer, I'm going to lean towards yes. I'm also believing, under still bummed to the belief that this may be Thulsa Doom, or a villain like Thulsa, because again, I don't know who has the rights to, uh, Conan, you know, to if that character counts under Red Sonia, or who have you, so I really don't know the uh, full extent of what's going on on that end with that character. But I do like, uh, I it's an interesting lineup. I mean, it's just people who, you know, Wolverine's been an Avenger. Punisher was kind of an Avenger in Civil War. Venom, this is Eddie Brock. Flash Thompson was an Avenger. Brother Voodoo, an Avenger. Elektra, well, Elektra was a Skrull at the time. But yeah. Funny, like, again, it's people who, you could, who were Avengers at some point or another, but with different circumstances. Although, again, when I say Venom, I mean Flash Thompson, not Eddie Brock. So... What I like about this is that this is a team of people who will kill, uh, who will straight up murder someone. Like these aren't the whole "we're gonna let you live." No, these are the. Uh, this is the team that will murder you. This is the team that is going to flat out murder you at the moment, at a moment's notice. This is the team that will do everything in their power to straight up kill you, no matter what the cost. Um, I. It makes me wonder of like how is this team going to be brought together? Obviously, like I said, um, the enemy that co from Conan's uh, universe is obviously the force that brings them together. But like, uh, how do they come together? Is it going to be because it's funny enough that Wolverine and Conan fought in a Wolver in a What If comic, and maybe they'll bring that up as like maybe, uh, mm, like like Conan and Wolverine are fighting. Is like, does this feel familiar to you? Maybe. So. Yeah, it, it also makes me wonder of how much of uh, Donny Cates' Venom is going to be influencing this, because, yeah, Cates has been the only person writing Venom so far, so it does make me wonder if um, they're going to acknowledge that at some point, if they're going to make some acknowledgement to Venom in this comic. Like, are they going to have some form of acknowledgement to that book? Uh... 
And it's cool to see Brother Voodoo back. I haven't seen him in, like, ugh, ages. I haven't seen him be important in a comic since, I don't know, uh, that first arc in New, in New Avengers with, with the uh, Eye of Agamotto, and that short stint he had as Sorcerer Supreme. I'm pretty sure he may have been in other comics, but I haven't seen, uh, I haven't read them if he has. But it is cool to see him in the, you know, with a costume on. Before someone told me it was Brother Voodoo, funny enough, I, honest to God, um, thought it was, like, for a quick second, I thought it was Eric Killmonger. Like, because, again, that character was popular, he had the dreads, um, and some of the markings like Killmonger, so I was like, is that, oh, it's Brother Voodoo, that's even better. Like, oh, that's, that's even, that's even cooler, because, yeah, Brother Voodoo is a very powerful sorcerer, um, on Doctor Strange's level, but no one gives him any respect um, for it. Uh, Punisher, back, you know, pu who's going to lead this team? Oh, maybe it's Punisher, since he's the he's the one with the Soldier Act, and he's interacted with all of these characters, minus Conan, um, and was kind of like the field leader in his Thunderbolts run alongside Ross. Um, uh, Electra, it's cool to see Electra doing stuff, but ugh, god damn it. Do we really need her in that in the Netflix Daredevil costume? I never liked that costume. Like I was just like, uh, why do why does she need the, the, just? Uh. So I don't know why she's keeping that Netflix costume. I mean, the show's canceled. You could you could stop now. You can go back to being you know Electra. You can go back to your Dare, to your Frank Miller costume, honey. It's it's fine. We we still love you. You're a great character. Uh, but yeah, I have a feeling that this is an Avengers team that is not going to just let you live. Uh, they are going to stab you, eviscerate you, put a bullet in your head, and then probably eat you on Venom's part. And that's the other thing is, like I said earlier, how are these characters going to interact? Because a lot of them don't like each other. Wolverine and Punisher have like a, are like work friends, but even then they'll try to kill each other. Brother Voodoo was an Avenger and will probably be, like, the voice of reason for this team. Conan will probably try to kill everyone, especially Venom. I think he's a big monster. And everyone's gonna try to kill Venom because, yeah, he's a socio- he's a psychopath in their eyes. Which is admittedly not far from the truth. But, yeah. Um, also, I want to see how this team re interacts with the other Avengers. I want to see them interact with, like, uh... Jason Aaron's, cap you know, Avengers team. Is this team even uh, sanctioned by the other Avengers? I mean, it's called Avengers, but are they really on the side of the Avengers? That's the other, you know, major question you have to ask yourself with this book, is how much of, the, of this team is really uh, um, known by the Avengers, uh, by the other Avengers? And if so, is Cap... I have a feeling that I, I've got a pretty strong feeling that this Avengers team, that this quote-unquote Avengers team is going to run headlong into a lot of hurt with, um, you know, with Cap and the rest of them. So that's the uh, big thing right there, is that this is, you know, there's going to be some serious hurt coming uh, this team's way. Because I got a feeling there's no way Steve and the others would be like, yeah, totally, um, a, you know, a barb a, kill a, a, a bloodthirsty barbarian. Um, Logan, you're cool, but you do some pretty nasty things. Same with you, Electra. Frank, I hate your guts. Venom, what the fuck you doing here? Uh, Brother Voodoo, you're cool too. But again, Frank, Venom, dude in the loincloth. Seriously, get out of here. Get out of here. So I can't wait for the Savage Avengers Avengers War, or whatever they'll call it. Um, all in all, though, um... Looks fun. I'm going to give the first issue a shot. Um, I'm definitely going to give the first issue a shot. Like I said, it's funny how fast Marvel wanted to have Conan in the Marvel Universe. They, did, they didn't even wait a year. They just, got, they just started doing the comics in January, and now it's May, and they're already putting him in the Marvel Universe. Like, they're already trans putting him in the, in the Marvel Universe. So... Yeah, they were really excited to get Conan the Barbarian back at Marvel. If this wasn't evident enough, <laughs> guys. If this was in no way evident en uh, as it was. So, anyway, um, what do you guys think of this? Do you guys like the idea? Do you guys hate the idea? What do you think of the team? Um, do you think they're sanctioned by the Avengers? Or, and what do you think of Conan uh, being a part of the Marvel Universe for however long? So just comment below, let us know, and if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's My Subscribers. Um, yeah, just comment below, let us know what you guys think of this, like it, hate it, whatever. And uh, once again, I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here in the universe.